here. Now with x, we can actually make that x to the first power because it kind of makes a difference. And the explanation coming up. Okay. So if you see x, if you notice as x keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, so as it's going further to the right, this f of x is going to get bigger and bigger. So you see f of x equals infinity. I mean, not equals. Gets closer to infinity. as your x gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So as x gets really close to infinity, or gets closer. I don't know how if you can get really close to infinity. Okay. If you notice on this side, as x is getting smaller, or if you're going in the negative direction, your f of x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, so it's getting lower and lower. So it's getting close, it's approaching negative infinity. So if you plug in x equals negative a billion, your f of x is going to be really, really, really far down there. So your f of x approaches negative infinity as x approaches negative infinity. Okay. So it's the same thing here. We see as x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but in this case, your y is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So we see our f of x is going in the direction of negative infinity as our x gets bigger. Okay. What we can see on the other side is x gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Our y is going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So f of x approaches positive infinity as x goes uh -oh, goes in the negative infinity direction. All right, so we can do the same thing here. And you're going to kind of notice a pattern for these two. Okay, so here, if you notice, as x gets bigger, your y gets bigger. So your f of x goes in the positive infinity direction as x gets bigger and bigger. Okay. But if you notice as x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, your y is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So f of x approaches negative infinity as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay. Now for this one, you notice. Uh oh, been on the wrong side. That as your x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, your y is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So your f of x approaches negative infinity.